Um, can you just please introduce yourself, please, Boris? Um, my name is Boris Sarosan, and I'm a head coach of the regional team, Southeastern Cougars. At the same time, I'm working with NTC program, it's National Training Center program, and VTC program, at Victorian Training Center programs as well. And a little bit more, maybe, about your coaching qualifications. Okay, I have AFC uh, A license, which is I mean, sort of one of the highest licenses, and I'm sort of, that's what it is. <laughs> Can you just give me a little bit of a rundown on um, on George Jeremy as a player, please? As a player, uh, George is quite capable player. Have a great technique. Uh, good skills and um, I'm sort of saying that skills and technique it's a two different sort of uh, things uh, his understanding how to implement skills is quite good uh, he's quick well-balanced player um, okay so with uh, um, a little bit more on those uh, skills is this what you're talking about a decision making the ability to uh, be where the ball should be are these the sort of things you're saying yes absolutely I mean sort of skill it's skill it's a, like a, how I can stop the ball how I can uh, pass the ball what I'm doing but technique it's actually implementation of the skills and it's uh, decision making is involved quite seriously in this kind of process it successfully actually resolves situations which is uh, happening on the field and from what I saw George is quite capable in this department and that's why I mean sort of he is who he is I mean sort of uh, that's what's actually caught my eye a uh, few clips on uh, YouTube's and then I looked him in action and it was quite impressive And you're very, very happy uh, um, his position uh, where he p puts himself. Uh, what sort of things do you, would you, as a coach, can you add something to his game? Uh, probably, probably. I mean, sort of uh, to add. We, we were sort of talking to George about that already. Um, it's, as I said, decision making. It's a quite a big thing in in uh, soccer, and probably. With gaining experience in the highest levels, he will be more, even more, sort of capable. Uh, there is few bits and pieces can, which can be improved. It's like sort of positioning on the field, and actually, funny enough, uh, I'm calling this like sort of to be smart, lazy, not to move too much. In a way, to sometimes is the best way. It's actually sometimes to hold and not to run. But it's uh, like sort of it's problem uh, happening with all use. I mean, younger players, let's say that, with experience, it's sort of getting away, and he will decide when to move and when not. Um, you're almost calling him uh, um, over an overworker there. Yes, it is. I mean, so sometimes I mean, sort of, I could see that he's actually doing just a little bit too much, which is uh, not always the great thing. I mean, sort of, it's. Uh, uh, he needs to rest sometimes and then to again to change his pace but again it's a, you're absolutely correct it's just overloading certain areas uh, now he's brought uh, his uh, history if you like uh, playing in uh, the UK and then also Spain um, how do you think that has af affected him uh, playing in Australia I mean, so it's, there is a positives and probably some negatives as well. I mean, sort of, uh, but being not, I mean, sort of, not a f like sort of physical aggressive player. He is a quick, I mean, sort of player who using his skill instead of like sort of power. Uh, I mean, sort of, he is actually a bit different from typical English, like sort of we in Australia thinking about typical English or Scottish players. And it's a quite refreshing. Sort of, and that's why I believe he is more suitable. So, sort of, to the uh, and the teams in Europe can benefit from his sort of abilities. What would, what do you think he would have brought out from Australia? Then, do you think he's brought something to his game? Has Australian given him something there? I mean, Australia is a pretty unique place. I mean, so there is a mix of the different cultures, and it's he had the influence in this football here. That's why to be exposed to it, it's actually, I presume, and pr plus uh, exposing uh, himself to the coaching, it's giving him a different perception as well, what he has to be done on the pitch. 
what has to uh, what sh he shouldn't do what he should do i think uh that would probably it's understanding of the game that's what will he will get probably from australia more than anything else so there's a bit of a positive in in every move you make in that sense absolutely i mean sort of i believe that um his staying in australia make him a better player even i mean sort of as, as I said, there is a positive spin on him in being involved in coaching because I saw him in coaching action as well and his understanding of the game and understanding not just understanding but the conceptual understanding of the game is I could see that it was progressing as well, uh, evolving in a positive sort of way, like sort of much deeper and better. One other thing, Boris, uh, I'd like to ask you about uh, maybe some of George's um, attributes and attacking, one-on-ones, those sort of things. Um, as I told uh, before, I mean, Sir George, the strengths of the George is his speed and his uh, actual skill and technique. And he's quite good in the tight areas. And if he can separate the like sort of crazy situation when he's one-on-one, -on -one, using his speed and skill, he is quite capable and very good particularly in the positions of the wide players. I mean, sort of, he's taking players on and using his speed, he has a good crossing skills, and I mean, sort of, at the same time, if you get inside, his finishing touches is quite good as well. Uh, being a left left footer makes that uh, difference, do you think? I mean, it's always, I mean, sort of, the, I mean, sort of, left footers, so it's always, uh, it's a good attribute, because it's, I can't say that that many, and it's always uh, demand in the left footer players. Um, it's actually it's a benefit. It's a quite a good benefit.